Hello and good day. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. In today's Google Search Console error fixing video, the error that I want to help you fix to get better SEO is going to be the error that comes up as page with redirect. This will be a fun one. This will be a fast one. I need to point out proxypixie.com. It's another one of my companies for 4G proxies, dedicated, rotating, all your proxy needs, we have you covered. With that being said, I want to point out this particular error and how to get to it and how to find it. All right. So here's a live account inside of Search Console. You will go to Search Console. Once on Search Console, click on Pages under Indexing. The next piece that you'll want to do is you'll see Indexed and Not Indexed. Click on Not Indexed. Scroll down and then you're looking for Page with Redirect. This is a tricky one. I've gotten asked about this a few times because I guess this is a tricky one. It's, it's a little bit weird how these issues come up. All right. So the two issues that often uh, cause this, I'll point out and I'll even give you resources that will certainly help you out on how to execute the fix itself. All right. So let's scroll on down here and I'll, I'll give you this example. So now that you know how to get to it, all right, pages, uh, page with redirect. Um, what I want to point out of why this happens is because of two different reasons. The first reason is, is because someone has built a link internally to a page that doesn't exist, or they have built a link internally to a page that has a trailing slash or doesn't have a trailing slash. Like however you set up your permalink structure or your URL structure for your website, you need to make sure that you're building your URLs internally and externally in to the proper URL. So what do I mean by trailing slash and getting this right? Let me just give you a brief example of exactly what I mean right here. So if your website is www. Chris, let's just say Chris Palmer.org, you create a page that is called SEO expert. Now this end slash some websites will have SEO expert. This is the page SEO expert slash or trailing slash in this case. Now some sites will not right now. However, your permalink structure or your URL structure is set up. You need to make sure that your internal links and external links coming in are utilizing this structure. If not, what will happen is, as you can see here, I, I took a little screenshot from another client that had this exact issue. If you take a look here, we have pages that we really want to rank for. And this, this is a redirect or an indexing error based upon a trailing slash. See this concrete contractor Frisco? There should be a trailing slash. Now, when we identified the issue, it's because there's a backlink pointing to this page, but that page doesn't exist because we use a trailing slash. So that's one of the fixes. That's how you fix that. External links coming in, make sure have the slash or without. The other issue that I keep seeing that will come up is if there's internal links built or external links built to a page that does not exist. For instance, this page right here, forward slash forward slash 1000 or forward slash 1000. If externally someone is building links to your website, to pages that do not exist, it will cause a significant amount of errors. All right. And this is, this is going to be the fix. I'll give you the two ways to go ahead and take care of this. All right. So now that you've identified the two reasons, or at least these two reasons, why page with redirect indexing errors show up inside a search console. Let me give you the resources in order to fix this. It's a very easy fix. Good for us, right? So here's uh, how to fix if a page does not exist. So again, this could be a uh, page does not exist. It could be an external link coming in or something you build internally. It'll show up the same way. All right. So if you take a look here on uh, how to redirect your 404 page to the home page in WordPress, this is going to be uh, here's a here's a website right here. You should toggle the enable default 404 redirect button to the on position. After that, make sure that the home page option is selected selected. Notice that there's also a custom URL option. This allows you to redirect 404 errors to any post or page. So if you're getting a significant amount of errors or for instance, someone is giving you a spam attack, right? They're trying to index a bunch of pages that don't exist by building links, right? This, this has happened. What you can do is you can redirect all of the 404 pages 
directly back to the home page or whichever page you decide, you know, that is one way to fix this issue. All right. And this is the walkthrough. It's very simple. If you're using WordPress, the next issue that I wanted to point out was the trailing slash. All right. If you're utilizing WordPress, this can be fixed very easily within your HTA access file, or sometimes there's even plugins. But what I want to do is point this, uh, particular page out permalink manager.pro they walk through exactly how to do it or how to set this up inside of your hta access file so right down here will give you the hta access edit that you need to put in all right so all i did in order to find these fixes because i've gone through this before is if you look up how to add the uh trailing slash redirect in HTA access file, if you look that up in Google, HTA access file edit for trailing slash, it'll give it to you. As far as the, if page does not exist, how to redirect to a home page instead of 404 page, that's it. I mean, these are simple fixes to fix this error. I told you this would be a fast one. I hope this helps you out, especially if you're a WordPress user. I, I know these errors can be frustrating, but they're very simple. So that's going to take care of a page with redirect error inside of Search Console. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. If you have any questions related to Google Search Console, indexing errors, pretty much anything, never hesitate to go ahead and ask in the section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next Google Search Console, how to fix the issues video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.